Welcome back to another opening episode with Team Fam Media. You've got me, Mary, today. Paradox Rift has dropped. Before you, we've got a Scarlet Violet Paradox Rift featuring the Iron Valiant, the Roaring Moon, and a booster box that contains, I believe, 36 booster packs. I'm going to start off with opening the Iron Valiant artwork uh, Elite Trainer box just because I personally have a Pokemon Violet, and then we will revisit on the other two. Alright, so I'm really hoping that I can get most, if not all, of my masters set with today's pulls. Alright, so fun part, plastic. Got our nice little booklet with the card list. Ooh, I'm already liking some of these. Right, and of course, each elite trainer box has the weird cardboard separator thing. Sizable amount of packs. My dice, which have made a run for it. I'm kind of curious to see this color scheme. So it looks like this one is gray and blue. Coins. Separators with that iron belt. Bundle of energy cards. And the featured card. Looks like the iron bundle. The elite trainer code card. And iron valiant card sleeves. And of course, that nice artwork Elite Trainer box featuring our Paradox Rift. Alright, now let's get into the fun stuff. I was happy to get a pre release box a couple weeks ago, and I've already started my binder for this master set. Can't wait to get the rest. Slitherwing. This one is an ancient Pokemon. The ancient version of the, um, well, Snap. Larvesta. Ooh. Goisopod EX. Alright, I'm already liking these packs. Packs decent punch, but also has some really nice HP. Coats. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start setting aside my favorite cards. Separate out that energy for later. Pack number two. Jirachi. Another Slither Wing. Chin Pal. And Coats. To a good start so far. A lot of slither wings. Ooh, Iron Jugulus. Not gonna lie, when I went to Area Zero for the first time and saw this one floating around, it made me so happy. I was always a very big fan of the regular Pokemon version. And yes, that was me forgetting its name. I 
am not familiar with this one at all. Nice looking Steelix. because I know I'm hitting a bunch of holes in the collection. Ooh, a Zacian. Okay, so I see we're having some throwbacks in here. Ooh, a Palkia. Nice, nice. Two legendaries in a row. Scream Tail. Ooh, Bombardier EX. Decent HP. Okay, attack. Alright, so last pack out of our Iron Valiant Elite Trainer box. done. So overall, several legendaries, a couple of EXs, and some of our Paradox Ancient and Future Pokemon. Throw back to some Sword and Shield. I especially like how the artwork turned out on that one. the Aurora Moon box. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off here. Oh, and if I didn't mention Team Fan Media, it's Mary, guys. Sorry, super excited to get into this box. I get some of the alternate arts on these. They look amazing. Alright, again, dissecting the Elite Trainer. That's cool packs. Dice. Those separators. And codes. Plus 
the Scream Tail promo. And rolling moon sleeves. Alright, into the fun stuff. So, more Paradox Rift packs here. Now I'd like to know in the comments which Elite Trainer Box won in regards to hits. Ha! Huh, funny. My first pack, I think, uh, got a Goalie Spod EX out of the other. Number two. Pack number two is being difficult. Ooh, decent art crustal there. Brute Bonnet. That is the ancient version of Fungus or Mungus. Interesting so far. Personally, I think the Iron Valiant is still ahead. Would like to see some Iron Thorns. Alright, Iron Hands, now we're talking. The futuristic Hariyama. Not bad, not bad at all. Personally, I like the Iron Hands for uh, some of those raid builds. since I've seen an Absol. I was always very fond of the Absol. Another Palkia. Alright, two more packs to go. Personally, I still think the Iron Valiant is ahead.
Iron Moth. May have had a stroke on my description of the previous slither wings, larvesta looking things. To be honest, I cannot remember. Alright, Mewtwo EX Lightning Terra. This attack is 30 more for each psychic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Interesting. Attach up to two basic psychic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So if you have a psychic build deck, that can pack a punch. Alright, after pulling that new too. Hmm. I'll let you guys decide. Again, hits. We got some Mewtwo EX. Got our Iron Moth. Got another Palkia. Iron Hands EX. Brute Bonnet. And that artwork, Crystal. Alright. That is all for the Roaring Moon Elite Trainer Box. So, this is a booster box. This bad boy comes packed with 36, I believe, booster packs. Admittedly, one of the more cost-effective ways to get a large number of booster packs. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack. Can't wait to see what we pull out of these. Another Steelix. Didn't get as many art cards as I'd hoped out of the Elite Trainer Box. Did make off with one, but I'm hoping to fill some of those alternate arts. Another Chin Pal. And several of these. Admittedly, when we did our deck pulling uh, episode, I'd really hoped to pull either that or the ninja deck. Fate did not uh, work in my favor. Fagrigus EX. Another Jirachi. Hello, Deoxys. The legendary from the Hulin region.
camera. That pack didn't really have anything I was terribly interested in. I'd pulled one of these out of the uh, Roaring Moon Elite Trainer. Not bad. I'm starting to think I should open all my packs back. Built one. I do like this pack or this expansion because it does have a lot of throwbacks to the previous legendaries. Almost like it's got the galaxy behind it. And the future Iron Moth. Well, I suppose the Iron Moth is future in its name. kid with this expansion. Another Wu Qian. golden outlay. Nothing else, I think the Roaring Moon makes this worth it. Ooh. Special Art Roar. Here. 
All right, alternate art A prom. These almost kind of look like clay constructs or little action figure constructs. Just hanging out next to some ferns on a stick. Frostless EX. Happy to say I pulled one of these out of the uh, pre-release um, Snap Paradox Rift uh, deck builder boxes. Nice addition. Starting to wish we had waited to do our deck building until Paradox Rift dropped because honestly the amount of stuff that I've gotten from these ones would have been beneficial. But then again, I would have far exceeded that $50 limit as well. Ooh, hello Mila. Nice rare art, hanging out with a Torkoal. Got us another Iron Moth. several of his legendariness. Alright, this is the last pack of stack one. Garchomp EX with that water Terra. Love it. Garchomp is one of my favorite dragon Pokemon, but Dragapult wins out on the top. This makes it very hard to keep Dragapult in the first slot, though. Alright, reliving the hits and favorite cards from our stack one. My wish has been fulfilled. Got several of those alternate arts. Love filling out the Paradox Pokemon itself. Admittedly, I think the, uh, the Roaring Moon and the Garchomp EX kind of tie for my favorite pulls so far out of this one. On to stack two. Groudon. Shout out to Hoenn region. Art Aegis slash EX. Stack number two is very rapidly moving forward in the good pulse direction.
another iron jugulus. Electricity EX, another alternate art. Aegis Slash, another fancy art. We've got Zacian again. Volcanian. Interesting out of this pack. Chin Pal. Ooh, Roaring Moon EX. Getting down closer to the end of this stack. Ooh, another Garchomp EX. I feel a deck coming out of these cards.
found four packs. Not Hoopa EX. That is a good way to end opening all these packs. Decent attack, decent health, and really cool looking art with that Terra going on. Alright. So, stack number two hits Hoopa, Chiyu, Eveltal. Another Garchomp EX, Zekrom, Roaring Moon EX, Chien Pao, Volcanion, Zacian, Aegislash Art, Toxtricity EX Art, Aegislash Art, Groudon, and back to Hoopa. Alright, it's gonna take me another 20 years to get my master set uh, all laid out and sorted, so wish me luck on that. Again, thanks for watching. This is Team Fam Media. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit notifications. This is Mary signing out. Have a good day.